Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see what is normalization in SQL and the types of normal forms in the SQL. So our first question is what is normalization? So normalization is the process to eliminate data redundancy and enhance the data integrity in the tables. Normalization helps to organize the data in the database. The core idea of database normalization is to divide the tables into smaller sub tables and store the pointers to the data rather than replicating the data itself. There are different kind of normalization forms that we will cover in the next question. The next question is what are different normal forms? So there are different normal forms available and the first one is the first normal form. The first normal form simply says that each cell of a table should contain exactly one value. So sometimes you might have seen that there can be multiple values present. For example, in the name column, we can have the first name, comma, last name. So the first normal form says that in a single field, we should contain only one type of data. Now the second one is the second normal form. For a table to be in the second normal form, it should pass two conditions. The first one is that it should be in the first normal form. And the second condition is that all non-key attributes are fully dependent on the primary key. The next one is the third normal form. For a table to be in the third normal form, it should pass two conditions. The first condition is that the table should be in the second normal form. And the second condition is that there should not be any functional dependency. After third normal form, we have the Boy called normal form, which is also called as BCNF. Boy called normal form is also known as 3.5 normal form, and it is the superior version of the third normal form. It was developed to tackle certain type of anomalies which were not resolved with the third normal form. The first condition for the table to be in the boy called normal form is that the table should be in the third normal form, and the second condition is that every right hand side attribute of the functional dependency should depend on the super key of that particular table. Next one is the fourth normal form. And for a table to be in the fourth normal form, it should be in the boycott normal form. And the second condition is that it has no multi-value dependency. And the last one is the fifth normal form. A table can be in the fifth normal form if it is in the fourth normal form. And the second condition is that it cannot be subdivided into smaller tables without losing some of the information. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.